<laughs> this is a good seat. What's up guys? This is trying to be Ash. As you can see, I'm the new host. Give us a um, <laughs> give us a comment if you think I should host the show. I want to get that straight in, straight in, so then everyone can say Luke should be the new host. All right. But first, <laughs> we haven't got Ash, but we've got a very special guest. Oh, she's not a Me. guest. <laughs> no, wait, no, she's not a guest. She's she's, she's part huge. of the Squat Club team. Yeah. Megan, oh. say hello to everyone. <laughs> So Megan is a new coach in Scott Club. She started today, oh, this week. Yeah, yeah. I uh, guess we have always guests, but yeah, you're not a guest anymore. This is, okay. this is a deal. Yeah. Today yeah. we're missing Ash and Steve. Yeah. yeah. That's why I'm going to be the host. <laughs> I know she didn't like that. It's I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. Okay, should we dive straight so into the Scott questions? Oh yeah, if you have any questions, shoot it to Scott Club above Lincoln's head. Oh, Did I miss anything? Is that the intro? All right, let's get started. Eh? <laughs> All right, Make first sure question. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got to stuff up a bit. First question: What is what? What? <laughs> what are the benefits of creatine, and why should I use it? That's the first question. That's how you do it, Ash. No messing around, no stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You take creatine. The host. I take creatine. Um, well, there's, heat, there's like a range of benefits. It's like so, 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 so many. If you like look into it, there's like how many? So many. Like <laughs> even just sort of like like neural diseases and everything like that. It's actually, but for most people who are in the gym, it's going to be in form of like an energy. So our energy um, source is ATP, as most of us know, um, and that kind of increases. ATV, so that will help with like workloads, so your, your volume, obviously, um, your capacity to actually train well, um, which will obviously increase muscle mass as well and strength um, and performance as well. So you, for people who use it, like even sports people for high intensity workouts, people in the gym for strength-related purposes, um, also for, like in a muscular level, like um, increases satellite cells, so that's the intramuscular activity which drives hypertrophy so that's where you get a bit of size that's why it's pretty well studied as well but um yeah the main thing is it can increase the strength hypertrophy overall work capacity and that's probably why you should use it so mainly males take care yeah would you recommend it for a female i've never taken it, um so. yeah i i couldn't see why not i think there's no like there's a lot studied on does it affect your health in terms of like um kidneys and stuff like that and there's most research is saying it doesn't. Um, for females, I would, I would probably think the same. Yeah. Females can still yeah. take it, and then have all those benefits just like yeah. a male would. Like, and then they females still trying to build muscle. Yeah. Like that's the top, like the tone. So it's still beneficial for. A I used to take it for performance. Um, <coughs> it's just for me because I'm not very good in taking supplements every day. Yeah. So you really need to be taking it every day to see. Um, yeah. See any yeah, you gotta take it every day, and you just gotta add it in. So you can add it to anything. Like if you have like orange juice, you put it in that, or if you have yeah. like a shake, or if you have anything, that, it's pretty simple. You can even have it done with water. You can add it wherever; it doesn't really matter. Timing is a bit of like maybe before or during. Like, probably doesn't matter if you take it around your workout, whatever. Even yeah, just, you know, it doesn't really matter. They just, but yeah, that's you just have to take it every day. Yeah, yeah. every day. Yeah. yeah, you can't just go one off. Yeah. Cool. First question done. Cool. All right. Next question. What are some indicators? that I'm healthy? That's a good question. Hmm. <laughs> what do you think of uh, I would say looking at your energy is a good one. I guess the thing to, to note is that, I mean, health for everyone is totally different. different yeah. So there's no black and white. It's not to say, you know, if you have these things that you want are unhealthy and whatnot, yeah. like you've got to find out what is healthy for you regardless. But there is definitely some things like energy obviously is an indicator. Um, your stool, so we kind of touched on that a little bit last week, I think. So, um, which is an indicator of your bowels, um, right how you're digesting bowels. food. Yeah. yeah, so that can be a pretty big one. Um, skin as well can be another one if you have That's any skin conditions. Too, yeah. So, um, that your urine, like if you're hydrated, yeah, yeah. So hydrated. that's a marker. Um, and then energy sleep sleep yeah sleep is big one. one and stress levels so and stress yeah. how you can manage your stress yeah so if you feel like you can't manage your stress then yeah, there's probably some things on 
influences or anxiety and depression. I was about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the so, whole mental side, like it's yeah. obviously physical, but it's also you got to look at health is mental as well. Yeah. So how your food, your mood, everything, um, your mood, everything like that is pretty important. And anxiety and depression has been linked to a lot of inflammation in the body yeah. too. So if you've got a lot of inflammation and, yeah. and anxiety, I would look at reducing the inflammation in your body. Mm. So. Um, and looking after your health, so making sure that your digestion's good, your hydration's good, you yeah. good food. No, I think you probably will see like all these things that you just mentioned. Linked together. Well, linked. I'll just have to say linked that together. Well. Um, yeah. Especially if you've got a lot of stress, you can start seeing a difference on your skin, things like that. Um, and then also you overeat, you want to eat pleasurable foods yeah. because you're stressed, yeah. and then obviously your overall energy balance goes up, and then obviously you put on weight, and then like, of course, you have more fat cells, which that leads to inflammation, which leads to chronic disease. So it's like yeah. a it's like a massive um, cycle, yeah. really. So you just need to get like the basics right, yeah. the structure. I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. So how do we get it? How do we do it? Eat healthy, train, have yeah. a balance, good sleep, eat good food, nutritious food, drink water. That is anti-inflammatory. Be active is very important. Like yeah. even if you don't start. Really? Yeah. 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 The five yeah. things sleep. Yeah. Sleep, nutrition, training, water, breathing. And yeah. sunlight. And sunlight. I don't know. I get this. I think overall, if you get like nail those, it's um, good. Yeah. But I think we've got yeah. one later about how you can actually do it. Do it, yeah. It's pretty easy. It's simple. People have complicated yeah. it, but it's equal. Yeah. Uh, sleep. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And you look at food from a nutrition point of view, not yeah. just like it's just food. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah anti-inflammatory foods like because when you have fat cells that's pro-inflammatory really it's like cytokine doing like that so you need to look at it from that point of view as well mm. and that has such an effect on mental health as well when exactly. you realize when you mm. stress and you eat like you said yeah. and that makes you feel worse so you don't yeah. 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 yeah it's like that cycle oh, i'm it's stressed like, let me get yeah. sugar or i mean chocolate and then you feel horrible oh, <laughs> yeah and it's just yeah. 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 Well, it will never it will never change yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, next one why is recovery important and how much do I need? Why is it important? Well, it's important so then you can come in to say if it's the next session from training, that you can come in and do better or do the same. If you're not recovering as well, you're going to come in and you won't be able to train as hard, put the effort in. Again, when it comes back to our health, you're going to feel fatigued, you're going to feel sluggish, you're overstressing your body. So recovery will come into those health as well, to balance. And especially like for people who are starting, Let's say they do have inflammation, um, you'll never be able to get rid of it because you're stressing your body more, um, and yeah, nothing will ever change. Yeah. So recovery is really important. And exercise is a stressor on the body too. So if we're doing too yeah. much of it, you're adding more stress. So if you've got this bucket of stress coming in, stress. how are you balancing out yeah. that stress? Perceptional exercise. stress, yeah. physiological yeah. stress. Yeah. 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 Together. So you need to make sure that the stress that's coming in is balanced out by the stress going out. And that by recovery. Yeah. Any tips on recovery? Or? Well, again, nutrition, breathing, nutrition. breathing <laughs> sleeping. Um, breathing is going to increase the oxygen to your blood and your muscles, so it lowers your blood pH, so that reduces the inflammation. So breathing is one. Get you in that parasympathetic state. Yeah. 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 The nutrition, you need to get the right nutrients um, that your body your needs body, to, yeah. 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 to work to out. Hydrate, take Hydration. a walk. Sleep. Yeah. Sleep is where you get sleep. a lot of recovery. Yeah. So I think it's from like 10 to 2 a.m. is your physical recovery, and then from 2 a.m. to 6 is your psychological recovery. So if you're missing out on that sleep, you're not getting enough physical or psychological recovery. Yeah. So you need to make sure you know you're sleeping between those times or getting you seven to eight hours sleep. Yeah. yeah. If you're looking at from a like recovery, like a performance point of view, there's actually a fair bit of um, research on like five or six hours versus eight or nine hours and actually found that injury rates were higher in the people who were sleeping less. It just like show, um, shows how important sleep yeah. is. If you're not sleeping enough, you're going to have a chance of getting injured and everything like that. Same for fat loss too. Yeah. People that sleep more lost more fat yeah. and put on more muscle compared to people that do. Yeah. So sleep is massive. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. Um, Should be a priority. Yeah. So. Especially if you set yourself times. Um, like similar times every day, so so you get to have it look, to go to bed at ten, let's say, mm -hmm. and then whatever time you're getting up to work. So you, you should be always similar. I was reading the other day. It's not so much about what time you go to bed, but waking up at the same time every day. So if you're going to start with a routine, start with picking 
like setting a time to get up at the same time every day. Obviously, you still want to go to bed earlier, but mm -hmm. start with that. Get the hours then, in, yeah. You know, if you yeah. need to stay up an hour later, that's fine. But if you can get up the same time every day, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. That's for a sleep routine if you're struggling with sleep. Yeah, yeah. So. that's important for recovery. Ah, right, cool. Last question. I've got to. Jesus. All right. What's your suggestion for building good training and nutrition habits? So that's um, linked to the pretty much two questions before. Yeah, I think this will kind of maybe tie it all together. How we do it. Yeah. yeah. Like it's one thing to do, it, but then like, yeah, how do you do it? How? Yeah. I would suggest like don't try to change everything at the same time. Mm -hmm. So split. Give give yourself a smaller goals for let's say each week or maybe even each fortnight and start with that. So maybe start with being active. Um, so first thing maybe walking in the morning. Mm -hmm. Walking is amazing for every everything. Mm -hmm. um, it will help you mentally and obviously it's an activity. Breathing. Yeah. Yeah, sympathetic state could start the day. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's say start with walking. So for the first two weeks your goal will be to go for a walk every week. Then every day. What did I say? Every week. Oh, every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. And then add into it um, maybe having breakfast every day if you're not used to having a breakfast. And change what you're having for breakfast. If you were used to having bacon and eggs, maybe have eggs and something better than bacon. <laughs> Avocado on top. Like if you are following me on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> Lanka Squats. <laughs> yesterday. <Just off> <laughs> Yesterday I posted um, a meal which was um, just a salad of vegetables with um, with eggs. So you get all the good nutrients in, into your body, and just start adding slowly into into the routine. Yeah, I think yeah. I have to understand. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think you have to understand like what a habit is. So it's a behavior that is done repetitively over time. So then, what people I think get wrong with the habit formation is they. They'll start it and they'll be like, this is too hard, okay, and they stop. But I think the biggest thing with a habit, I kind of look at like an, an inverted U, or another way to put it is if like, if you're rolling a, a ball up a hill, it's going to be hard. But then once you get over the hill, when you come down, it's going to be easy. So people don't understand that when you're forming a habit, it takes time and it's actually going to be hard at the start. But then once you get over that point, it's going to be easier. So the first thing you've got to do is actually get over that point and like like I said if you're setting unachievable goals you're not going to get there so start with a 10 minute walk even if it's twice a week and then get that right and then build upon that but if you just jump into something so hard it's already hard to build a good habit yeah. like you've got to full change your behavior and something that's really difficult so start with something small and then you've got to understand that a habit does get easier but it gets harder before it gets easier does that make sense yeah, like I, I think that's the biggest thing so Set it, it's like achievable because once you get it, like I'll probably speak for all of us here, we get it and we just do it automatically. We don't think about it. And like that's the stage where most people want to be and you've got to realise that we didn't get to this stage and we just... Yeah. And you keep building on it. Yeah. You just so keep like, You get to that point, you go, okay, cool, now what am I going to do? So you'd be like, okay, cool, I'm going to fine-tune this a little bit more and then I'm going to yeah. fine-tune this a little bit more. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, cool, cool, this is how I am today. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly. It's like, it yeah. doesn't happen it, like that. You know, this is a new process, like how long you been, you guys been training for, yeah. Yeah. you know, like 10 years, 5 years, like yeah. it's a long process yeah. and you yeah. have to stick yeah. at it. And you have dead times when it's yeah. not great, but you know, you just alright, just get back onto it. But yeah, it does, but that's the thing, once you get to that stage, it doesn't matter if you have times when you're like, you can still get back into it and it's not actually yeah. not that hard, but yeah. it's that yeah. initial, initial period which is generally the, the hardest. Yeah. Point, you know what I mean? Because then yeah. later on, as Luke said, you don't you don't think about it anymore. Automatic. You just do it. Yeah. Like I know a lot of people struggling with drinking water, um, and I used to as well. I would probably drink maybe half a liter a day. Now I'm drinking three, four liters easily, and it's not because I'm forcing myself. It's just because I'm I've got that yeah. habit of drinking water, and I don't think about it anymore. I think um, the one too is be accountable with someone. Mm -hmm. So get yourself a coach and be accountable. Do it. Coach is a good one because if it's family or friends, then they might not have that accountability. Um, but someone you can check in and be like, okay, cool, let's do this. Have you done it? You know, yeah. stay on top. Get or that even at least happy. a training partner um, because it always helps to do stuff um, yeah. with someone else. And book it in your calendar. Yeah. I think making it a priority is the biggest thing. Yeah. Like you say this is important to me. I 
to have to do this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know, and as soon as you let someone, like, it'll be, oh, no, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. It's like, no, you know what, you just have to do it. Even if you don't feel like sometimes you just have to do it. <laughs> oh, I want to get on a rant, but like, it's, it's, it's honestly, a, like, it's a, like you said, it's a priority. Like, if you honestly yeah. think your health is not a priority, okay, well, how about you wait another 20 years when you have, I don't know, diabetes and then your kids are growing up and you can't even play with them because you can't think, function. Like, if, do you think that's a priority? Yeah. I think that's pretty important. Well, if you don't have I think your health, a, like, it affects all, one, every yeah. part of life. Yeah. Like, it affects your work yeah. because you call, you're not going to feel good at work, you know, you have six days and whatnot. Yeah. So, it doesn't I've, I've heard um, fair a few times from especially mums that this can't be a priority for them because they've got kids. But that's fully what, more important. Exactly, yeah. exactly. What just Luke said, it is more important because the habits you have your kids, your kids your kids will have as well if this is your priority and you trying to be healthier they will do as well and they'll see what you're doing and they'll do it as well later on because they'll they'll do whatever you do that's how they're growing up so they, have, they don't even have a choice in the matter they just exactly. do it, they don't know any different yeah. Yeah. what happens if you end up with a chronic illness which is what happens from an unhealthy lifestyle mm -hmm. you end up with a chronic illness you can't look after your kids. Yeah. So how is it not a priority? priority. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Like when you look at like yeah from a health point of view, well yeah. I think it's pretty important. Like yeah. it is so important. Like just Google like just like any chronic diseases, like it's not good. Like and it all becomes down to these habits that you form each and every day. You don't just go to McDonald's and have a cheeseburger and then get that thing. You do it over like yeah. you do it over a period of year. I can go to Macca's now and have it like, whatever I want. It's because I have the same structure and the same food I eat through I eat vegetables. You know what I mean? Like it's not a matter of just like you just yeah, just get it over thing. It's over a period. Yeah, so yeah. these habit thing is like it's so important, it has to be a priority, like Megan yeah. said, it has to yeah. be. Like there's no other way about it. Like it is if you make one goal, okay, drink water, okay, eat a piece of fruit. Okay, and then after the time, in two years, you'll be doing it all. Yeah, yeah. But you just gotta do it. Like there's yeah. no other way about it. Like yeah. and, okay. I, and I know it's hard. Especially if your kids are a priority, this has to be a priority as well. Yeah. You want them to be healthy. Yeah. yeah. It's so important. Like, I'm probably just getting on the ramp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but yeah. it's, it's like, it's massive. It's like, a priority. You have to yeah. do it. Like, have if you to. break it down into steps, like you said, it makes it that bit easier. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like, I've, like, I've seen it so many times that people start a gym for the first time in their life. And they first day they came and they like, all right, so I'm going to train six times a week. I'm going to, so what do you want me to eat? I'll do that. No, it's not. It's, it's wrong because you're never going to do it. Yeah. You have to start slowly and build up. Yeah. Otherwise, it's all too hard to get up. And we all went to, like been yeah. through it. Like it's not easy. But once you get to, once you build the habits, it's so much easier. Yeah, it's just that initial phase. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be hard at the start. And don't change drastically. If you go from eating shit to eating good food and just change everything, you're gonna be like, this is too hard. Yeah. I want those pleasurable foods. Just change a little bit, like, it's it's natural. Like, we wanna eat nice, and pleasurable foods and it's all normal, but if you go from eating really pleasurable foods to then eating not just like a vegetable and chicken and just rice, you're gonna be like, this is so shit. Like, you know, it, but it's yeah. how it is. So you just yeah. gotta make small changes, change one meal and then change another meal, then add a piece of fruit. Like, that's, it's not, that's all it's about. And then you form good habits and then, on your way um, for success. You go. <laughs> Good job, guys. Yeah. Without Ash. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. You cut. So to the point, pretty quick. So everyone watched that whole thing. Do we have anything you want to say before we go? Do you want to do a dance, like? <laughs> <laughs> Where's our song? Ash. Is Ash, Ash isn't here. Ash. Ash. We'll, we'll, we'll wait for Ash. <laughs> Ash. When Ash is back, we got the dance for you. <laughs> Alright, is that it? Yeah, yeah. What do I have to say at the end? Um, well, if you have any questions, just shoot them through. If you have any questions, shoot them through our inbox at uh, Spotify. Great questions, guys. Thanks for shooting them through. Thanks to everyone for shooting through your questions. As always, it's a pleasure. Uh, just don't forget, if you want me to be the new host, just comment <laughs> below and we'll get it done for you. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Bye.